Hey, how's it going, you guys? Welcome back to some more 9-9. So y'all pointed out in the last episode that we're slowly coming back to where we were at the start of the game. So if you guys remember, like, Kakaru was talking about, like, there's something that he shouldn't be forgetting and things like that. And then we have the option to remember with Sora. So y'all pointed that out to me, and I went back and watched that, and I was like, whoa, okay. Actually, yeah, that is where we're going. We've already kind of seen this happening, and, uh... Slowly, everyone's forgetting about Sora, and I predicted that we were gonna forget about Sora too. And then y'all pointed that out, and I was like, "Oh, okay." Then I'm, yeah, totally. Like, we're totally gonna forget her. But uh, we're gonna have to see how that goes. Y'all, y'all have said this is gonna be pretty good here at the end, so I'm looking forward to it. And uh, let's let's continue on. That you, mom. Donata desu ka? Honto sore ii kara kakeru da yo. Hai? Kakeru desu. Oh, frick. Like, we're not being forgotten, too, are we? Oh, okay, okay. That feels like... Oh, okay, okay. 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 Oh, that's today's business taken care of. Three days of school missed. I shudder to think how behind I'll be on homework when I return. Well, I'll just have to live with it. Has it only been three days? I feel like it's been like over a week. <laughs> but maybe not. I curl my right hand into a fist and roll my right ankle around. When I woke up this morning, the petrification had completely vanished. I can move my fingers, and more importantly, I can finally take my shoe off. <laughs> I feel like that would be pretty annoying having your shoe on that entire time. I wonder if my burning desire to protect Sora accelerated the healing process. Since artifacts are manifestations of a soul's power or whatever, I suppose that's an actual possibility. Uh, I'd be fine to go to school today, but there's no way I'm leaving Sora alone. Yeah, if he did, he'd probably forget about her. Hence why I'm calling in sick for a few more days. Until Sophie completes her medicine and frees Sora from her artifacts, I'm not leaving her side. <laughs> Oh, wait. You won't have to feel like you're doing something naughty. You will be later, I'm sure. I don't even feel an ounce of guilt. Miyako <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, she probably doesn't even remember. Didn't miss that hesitation. Screwed up. Kudo's messaged me a bunch of times the past few days about how I've been doing and all that, but the only time she's mentioned Sora is when I brought her up. I guess she hasn't texted Sora directly at all. Or more accurately, she's incapable of it. From the looks of it, Kujo can no longer recall Sora unless someone else reminds her of Sora's existence. So she hasn't completely forgotten her. That's that's positive, right? That's that's good. Like freaking her own parents already forgot. Her memories are growing hazy as well. Sora obviously picked up on that. In an attempt to cover for my blunder, I changed the topic. Sora tilts her head quizzically. あたしはともかくお兄ちゃんはまずいでしょ。大丈夫だろ。制服でもない限り、どっか行こうぜ。どこがいい。どこでもいいの近場なら。うーん、近場。あ、カラオケ。いいな。行くわ。オッケー、レ
Uh oh, what's going on with your phone? Eel. He throws her phone onto the bed and wakes up my PC. I give her one last sidelong glance before heading to the bathroom. I turn the faucet and water gushes out of the tap. I can't help but fret about the sudden change of expression earlier. But mostly I'm just glad she's happy right now. Hopefully this little sibling outing ends up being a fun enough that she can forget about her worries for a while. I don't know. I'm not too confident in this. We wait until class should have started before leaving the house, then head to the arcade by the station. Personally, I'm worried we might run into a student running late, or a teacher on patrol, but it seems there's some something else weighing on Sora's mind. Do, do teachers actually just, like, patrol the streets looking for kids who are skipping class? I, I've never seen that before, ever. She keeps shooting me worried glances while we walk. Yeah, he got pretty freaking lucky. <laughs> he could have just like smashed his foot and it would never go back. I mean, not that I'm aware of, but... I hold out my right hand and splay my fingers. She stares at it for a few seconds and puts her palm on top of mine. She then entwines her fingers with mine and squeezes tight. She beams up at me. Uh, this sure is how a boyfriend and a girlfriend hold hands. Normally I'd shake her off and throw a few caustic remarks her way, but... Whatever, it's just holding hands, right? Like, nothing more is gonna happen. I don't really mind doing it for her. Great, now I'm more worried about seeing uh, someone seeing me hold hands with my sister than I am uh, someone finding out I'm skipping school. But I have to keep my embarrassment in check. Letting Sora do what she wants is important. Oh boy, he says that now. What are you running this campaign for, anyways? I want to become president. Oh, that's right. Smiling Sora starts swinging her hand back and forth. That didn't sound like a joke to me. Ah, uh, so many, so many red flags here. Like something's gonna happen, and it's not gonna be fun. Well, if all she wants is to maintain the status quo, that's probably not enough to worsen her symptoms. Well, that's probably not the best mindset to have for the sake of her recovery. It's not the worst either. I don't know. There, there is the argument to be made. Like if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. When we arrive at the station, Sora tugs my hand. He better not forget about her while she's gone. Sora lets go of my hand and trots over to the convenience store. She turns and waves as she pushes the door open, then hurries inside. Now I'm starting to worry again. Why'd she want to go in alone? Why didn't she ask me if I wanted anything? Normally she would. Besides the karaoke place doesn't allow any outside food or drinks, so why does she, what does she want to even buy? None of these are significant enough on their own to warrant notice. Sora is so random I could probably just chalk this up to her acting on a whim like she often does. But right now every little thing puts me on edge. Definitely being overprotective. I think he's right to be. I think he's right to be overprotective right now in this situation. Um, he might possibly forget his sister and, and everyone else is, seems to already forgotten her. Maybe Sora caught on to that, but that's part of why she wanted to go in alone. I'm trying to act natural while still being cautious, but it's not going very well. Striking the right balance is hard. Sora pops out of the store while I'm sighing at how pathetic I am. She jogs over to me, a smile on her face. Was there more to that? I feel like that was a little random. But okay. Shakes my hand and starts walking. 
doesn't feel like getting anything anymore. Uh, so even though she didn't buy anything, she satisfied whatever desire she had. You know, I ought to just drop this. If I try to read into everything she does, says or does, I'll just spend the entire day brooding. But that's my job. I'm supposed to read into everything y'all say. And I feel like there was something going on there. Like, is she testing if someone remembers her? Or, I don't know. Not good. Should just enjoy myself. That's why we're on this outing in the first place. Ooh, we're back at this place. So we arrive at round two. This place has everything. <coughs> Gosh, sorry. It's like early in the morning. I always find like... It's really hard to talk first thing in the morning, and it's like, <laughs> it's like the worst time for me to record, but it's, I just woke up early. I woke up at like 6 a.m. just randomly, and I didn't feel like going back to sleep, so I was like, oh, I should probably record some more, and uh, here I am. It's always packed after school, but at this hour, the place is practically deserted. It's still far from quiet, but the lack of customers gives the place a more relaxing feeling than the usual. He'll be like, who did you go with? Who is that? ねえ、ちょっと遊んでこうよ。映画までもうちょっと時間あるし。先にカラオケだと思ってた。時間に追われながら歌いたくないもん。we have no time to sing. Huh. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this guess out here. Is she testing to see if he'll forget about her? Is is she like trying to go further and further? Like, okay, let's split up from each other for longer and longer and see what happens. Um just because it seems really suspicious that she keeps wanting to, like, separate from him. And then she's been acting weird. Sora dashes off to the arcade without waiting for my reply. First the convenience store, now this. For how happy she's going out together, she sure wants an awful lot of alone time. I guess in a way that's just like her, but... I fold my arms and think. If she wants to be left alone, I'm more happy to do that. But to be honest, I'm not in the mood for arcade games. And while it's not like I have a particularly bad feeling about this or anything, I'm still a little bit worried about leaving Sora alone. My instincts are warning me that I can't leave Sora aside no matter for how short of time. That's what I've been saying, man. Make my decision on walking to the arcade as well. Time to search for Sora. If she's absorbed in a game, that's fine. I'll keep an eye on her. If she complains about how I'm not playing anything, I'll just give her some excuse how I don't, how I don't want to waste my allowance or how I had more fun watching than playing. That's what I did growing up. I, I would go over to friends' houses and they'd play games that like I'm not like interested enough to play myself but that i enjoyed watching them play because you know i'm just not really good at those kind of games i liked watching my friend play uh, pikmin on the gamecube that was fun it doesn't take me long to find her she's playing the arcade version of one of those games where you completely where you control anthropomorphized battleships or planes or something oh yes i i do know what she's talking about uh she's completely focused on the cabinet manipulating the touchscreen with a serious look on her face now that I think about it, she sure is into a lot of different genres. Intrigued, I walk over to get a closer look at the game. Huh? Oh. Hey, 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 you're not allowed to disappear on me. But halfway there, I stopped. For a second, I completely forgot what I was doing. No, 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 no. Okay. We're good. We're safe. When I open my eyes again, Sora is standing there just like before. I lost sight of her. I was looking at her the whole time. She was right there in front of me. But there was a moment I couldn't see Sora. I'm shocked. Nausea wells up within me and I feel the blood draining from my face. I reflexively cover my mouth and take a few steps back. Sora's symptoms are worsening. She's not maintaining her current level of non-existence. The erosion of her stigma is progressing. Okay, y'all did mention erosion. Like, that's what happens is she's getting worse. I swore I'd never forget her, but... Just now, for the briefest of instance, I forgot about Sora. A wave of dread washes over me. I can't leave Sora alone. No, that's not strong enough. I have to stay by her side at all times. Sora! When I call out to her, Sora looks away from the screen and gets up at the arcade store. 
ずっとこっち見てたじゃん寂しそうに気づいてたのかよいや見てたけどさ続きやっていいよ気になるいやいいよそこまでじゃないじゃあ映画館行こっかああやばい平日満喫してる罪悪感パネーゼ<笑> yeah, you delinquents. 何の映画聞くのおせえアニマルトピアアニマルトピアあっクレイジーだっさんさいかあれかあの CG のそうだっけおじいちゃんみたいな表現やめてよね。なんで、Just say it's お昼食べた後にルナフォーマーズ。You don't need, you don't need to say it's CG. After lunch, we're gonna come back and see Luna Formers. I don't know what movie that's making a reference to. 日本だてかよ。ていうかなんでそれ選んだんだよ。ネットで評判見たぞ。逆に見たくなった。ならない<笑> ?It's supposed to be so bad. I wanna see it. <笑>わかるけどさ、順番逆にできない先にルナフォーマーズ見ようぜ。上映スケジュール的にこれがベストなの。ほら、行くよ ?Okay, not gonna argue. Thor takes my hand and we head over to the movie theater. There's a smile on her face and a spring in her step. So I would like to see. I don't want to bring her down, so I put a lid on the fear bubbling up within me and try to act normal. I can feel Sora's presence in the hand I'm holding. She's right here. Even if it starts to bother her, I won't let go. I'll hold onto this hand forever. I swear it. After watching both movies and singing our hearts out at karaoke, we head back home. We really lived it up today. Sora looks like she had a lot of fun. I know I did. However, after spending the whole day with Sora, I picked up on something. She tried to hide it, but I could tell. I know I'm just not overthinking things now. Sora's powers are out of control. Slowly but surely, they're eating away at her. Her, her symptoms... Oh, my alarm's going off. I'm not used to waking up before my alarm goes off, so it scared me. I was like, what is that? Her symptoms are worsening even faster than I expected. She replies casually, her eyes glued to the manga she's reading on the bed. I spent ages figuring out how to broach the topic, but all my thoughts fly out the window the moment I say her name. I end up burying my feelings. <laughs> Sora closes her manga, then turns to face me. She conjures up a stiff smile, but it crumbles instantly. She can tell from her expression that there's no fooling me. For a moment, she looks like she might cry, but she pushes the tears back down. Then she forces out another smile. I pick up Sora's phone off the table and hand it to her. She pushes the power button to bring up the lock screen and shows it to me. She taps the screen, types in her password, however. There's no change on the screen. I know that's not the problem, but I can't stop myself from asking. Sora just shakes her head. こういうのって指以外で触っても反応してくれなかったりするじゃん。機械が私を認識できなくなってるのかもね。触っても何も反応してくれない。Freaking even machines are forgetting her. How does that even happen? 周りの人ももう私に気がつかない。昨日まではギリギリ認識はしてもらえてたのにね。So it's like her power is just like constantly activated. Like, even to the point where machines don't recognize her. Yep. Yep.、Oh. Dang, that's bad. Not even automatic doors will recognize you. Sorry. <laughs> 
This sounds like very sad when you put it like that. <laughs> she's just listing every single person who's forgot her. Like, this is not going to end well. Like, she's going to have a breakdown here. Oh, boy. Y'all, we already know what's going to happen. We already know. Oh no. Gosh, they're setting us up for, for disaster. Sora gives me a small nod, and she whispers something under her breath. I heard it loud and clear, though. <sighs> no, don't do this. Don't do this. Nope, nope, don't do this. Pain lances through my chest and my face twists in anguish. Sora hurriedly puts on a smile. Uh, Oh no, is it gonna happen now? Is it, is he gonna like fall asleep casually when they're like hanging out tonight? And then he just forgets. What how are they gonna do it? It it y'all know what's coming. It, it's it's right here. We're right it's right about to happen. Sora gives me a look of mock disappointment before sliding off my bed. She grabs her towel and pajamas and heads to the bathroom. She's vanishing from everyone's memories. Not even machines register her existence anymore. Could anything possibly be more isolating? In a way, it's the same as dying. Yeah, kind of. But as long as I'm here, Sora can smile. Hey, at least if you were dying, like people would still remember you. And your memory could live on. Like This way, they don't even remember you exist. I would say that's even worse. I'm so worried. I'm terrified I might not end up being able to keep my promise to her, and the thought sends chills down my spine. Sora's out-of-control powers have even started taking their toll on me. My symptoms are just in their earliest phase, so I should be fine for a while longer. But if Sora realizes, if she figures out my memories of her are growing dimmer and that I'm losing track of her presence at times, wait, what if she's already realized? Might have started spacing out without even realizing it, and Sora would have picked up on that. If I'm right about that, then maybe what Sora said is true. She might not last long enough to be cured. I have to do something. I need to make sure that even if I end up forgetting, Sora can still be saved. Sophie. I quietly call out to her. Just like she promised the last time I saw her, Sophie appears immediately. I hang my head and mumble softly almost to myself. <laughs> ええ、もしこれがソラのことを忘れてしまったら俺にも症状が出始めたソフィーなら対抗力ってやつ俺よりも高いんだろうだからだなむもしもの時は約束はできないいや、I yeah, feel like if if her own brother is forgetting about her. I don't know if Sophie's gonna be able to do much. どうして私は観測者。私の記憶はソラの力でも消えない。けれど、ソラ自身が消えてしまったらどうにもならないわ。ソラがあのゴーストってこと同じ。行き着く先は存在の消滅。Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I'm like, okay, if if literally no one except Sophie remembers her, she's probably just not even existing anymore. そうなってしまったら、さすがに私でも無理よ。だから約束はできない。いや、悪い。弱気になるべきじゃなかった。弱気じゃなくて慎重なだけでしょ。最悪のケースを想定するのは当然。ただ、あなた少し参っているわね。
so weird to hear Sophie comforting us. <laughs> like, who would have saw that coming? いやあ、だつなかなかハプンあ。やっとにさる。その息よ。アンテルニア、ウォーガナフォールスリープ。コンプリートフォーゲットアバター。そのいきよ。アンテルニア、ウォーガナフォールスリープ。コンプリートフォ
空の手をしっかりと握っている俺の手の中に空の手を感じるいいかお前はここにいる消えちゃいない大丈夫だ俺がしっかりと捕まえてるだから消えないお兄ちゃんお兄ちゃん私はこの手を握りながら手を握りながら手を握りながら手を握りながら I lean into her ear and whisper over and over that she'll be okay. I'm beyond desperate right now. Fortunately, my desperation manages to serve as Sora's lifeline. Little by little, Sora's breathing calms down. Her fading outline solidifies once more. Crisis averted, I think.、Uh, she's still here with me for now. Well, frickin' that was a little too close, though. Like, she was about to disappear. What caused that sudden change? Why did her symptoms worsen so dramatically just now? I frantically cast about for an explanation. Um, I don't know. Because it's probably not because of the phone call we just had. It seems like she was already projecting her power before that call, and that's why that happened. However, regardless of what caused it, she's better now. Nonetheless, Sora is clearly at her limit. We have even less time than I thought. As long as I keep encouraging Sora like that, I want to believe that I can buy us more time. I have to keep supporting her for as long as it takes. Meaning, I have to keep smiling. I have to be the stronger, older brother she can rely on. I gently stroke her hair. Sora presses her forehead against mine and murmurs. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I pat her back. Sora clings to me for a while longer. After a few minutes, she finally rubs her eyes and breaks away. Sora nods, and after a moment of hesitation, I return to my seat. It feels like there's more I should have said to her. Are you alright? How are you feeling? Either would be a stupid question. She's obviously not alright. What more can I say? Sora picks up a piece of toast she dropped, but instead of eating it, she puts it back on the plate. Wow. So we, we get the toast back, and then she just puts it on the plate and she doesn't eat it. The toast, too, has gone back to normal. It's no longer transparent. At least Toast Kun is saved. Maybe Sora doesn't want to eat something she nearly made disappear. <laughs> It's getting harder and harder to think of something to say. I watch Sora drink her glass of milk while I finish up my own piece of toast. While I'm chewing, I think. When it started, I was too panicked to think straight, but now that I'm reflecting on it, there can only be one reason Sora's condition worsened. She must have overheard my phone call. She knows what Mom said to me.、Oh, okay, so I was wondering, like, was she already feeling bad and then she was projecting onto him? And that was making people forget him as well?、Uh, or was she freaking out because of that phone call? I don't know. It seems like either way her powers were getting worse, and、uh, the phone call certainly wasn't helping. She's in shock because she figured out that her powers are affecting me as well, and thus the abilities that she was just barely keeping in check suddenly went wild. I was careless. I can't help but beat myself up over my lack of foresight. If only I wasn't so darn stupid. But hey, just look at the bright side. You don't have to go to school now. Nobody knows you exist. Perfect. I should have realized up until yesterday, Kujo texted me after school every day to check up on me, and then yesterday she didn't. Oh, yeah, that would be a that would be a big sign. Should have paid more attention to that anomaly, but then maybe I should have realized Sora's powers were affecting me sooner. Maybe I should have avoided calling mom in front of Sora just in case. Still, it's no use crying over spilled milk. I popped the last bit of toast into my mouth and crunched down on it hard, venting my frustrations as the hapless piece of bread before washing down、uh, the crumbs with a gulp of milk. After a few seconds of silence, Sora nods. I stack up to our place and then take him to the kitchen. I put them in the sink and then hurry back to the living room. Sora is staring at the floor vacantly, not moving a muscle. She was moments away from disappearing for good. I can't imagine how traumatizing an experience that must have been. But she survived it. She's still hanging in there even now. I'm sure she can make it in another day or two, somehow. またカラオケ行くのもいいな歌い足りないって言ってただろさすがに2日連続は疲れるか
今日は家でゆっくりするのもいいな。Oh boy. Or finally speaks, but it's not to answer my question. She picks up her phone, puts it down on the table, and pushes it towards me. Ah. Nodding, I reach for her phone. I know why she's asking. I don't know Sora's password, but I doubt I'll need to ask. I press the power button and tap the touch screen. No matter where I touch, there's no response. So it's happening to me too now. Funny, just a few minutes ago, I was fine. That scare must have pushed Sora's power to start affecting me more strongly. I mean, I think it's fitting. I mean, she's spending the most time with Kakaru, and then she's also the closest to Kakaru. I mean, like, emotionally, mentally, phys and physically. Like, they physically are right next to each other, so of course. But, um, it, it, it makes sense that it would, it would feel a little less lonely if, if your brother is, is going through the same thing as you. Looks even more upset than she did when she's about to disappear. I try my best to encourage Sora, but needless to say, she doesn't buy my pathetic excuse. Sora hangs her head in despair. Oh, don't say that. I cry out. I lean forward and take her by the shoulder. She watches me impassively. When did the spark go out of her eyes? I want to make a terrible joke, but I'm like, is this the moment to do so? Would you guys get mad if I make a joke? I was going to say, I think her hope is disappearing too. I'm a terrible person, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. It's already happening. But no matter what I say, Sora remains listless. It's not like she's given up on everything. There's no emotion. It's like she's given up on everything. There's no emotion in her voice anymore. Sophie's words echo in my mind. She gave in. Her spirit is broken. I swore I'd save her. I swore I wouldn't let this happen. But in spite of everything, Sora's starting to wish for her own disappearance. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Anything means a lot of things, guys. I've said this before. If y'all have been watching me for a bit, you'll know I say that. Especially in Cafe Stella, then. Oh boy. Finally, Sora shows a little emotion. I can't let this chance slip past me. I need to fan the flame of her spirit back to life. Ah, whatever, whatever. Hey, at least they're easing into it. Like, I know what's coming. I know what it's coming. Huh? Came from nowhere, and I said the one thing I shouldn't have. I can tell from the look on their faces is no joke. A pall of anxiety hangs over, but a tiny ember of hope glimmers in the depths of Sora's vacant eyes. Seeing me at a loss for words, she smiles. Sora calmly meets my gaze. No, they're making this like a heart-wrenching moment when it's like, ha. 
y'all y'all told me it was good and i'm like how can you make something like that good and it's like oh, i'm starting to see it i still don't like it but i'll i, I suppose nah, i don't even want to say it all out it it's just gonna happen whether i want to or not I'm pinned to the spot and I'm able to look away from her. I'm so flustered I want to run away. But I can't because this is a choice. A choice I can't afford to get wrong. Because if I do, Sora will disappear. And so I make my decision. Hmm. I, I did know there was a, a choice coming up. So y'all said like the choice is it's it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, this feels pretty okay. Accept her feelings, okay, or reject her feelings. Like there's a good or a bad end. I I'm, I guess I'm struggling to see like how this is a hard choice to make. You know, guys, I have to go with my gut though. Did <laughs> you? Yep, we're not doing it. Nope. Sora's eyes go wide, but she quickly gets over a shock and puts on a brave face and a self-depreciating smile. Yep, you can go ahead and disappear. I know what's gonna happen. Don't worry, I'll do the other choice too, okay? <laughs> oh. Okay, that hurts when you say that, though. Sora shrinks back at the anger in my voice. I grab her by the arm, then glare at her. Sora looks away. Tears are spilling from her eyes. Okay, that's not true. Like, you do, like, come on to your brother quite a bit. A little strange, but... You know, you're not a burden. Shoulders tremble. I don't think I've ever gotten truly angry at Sora before, but right now I'm curious. You know Kakuru is serious when he's dropping F-bombs. I wonder if... Okay. I, 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 I think this is the bad ending? But, at the same time, what if this is a good ending? So, Kakaru and, and, and Sora normally have this this dynamic, right? Where they're, like, always teasing each other and always, like, you know, trying to up the other, one-up the other with, like, a joke or something. What if, like, this was actually the right way? What if, like, denying her at first is actually the way you're supposed to go? And then, like, you end up, like, getting with her. What if, like, I just totally chose the right one? Am <laughs> I like, trying to choose the wrong one? お前の大事な大事な気持ちよ。そんな後ろ向きな考えで口にしてんじゃねえよ。そんなの聞いてやれるわけねえだろうが。叶えてやれるわけねえだろうが。そういうことは。I'm <laughs> That's just the kind of man we are, Sora. That's the kind of man we are, Sora. Like, did I actually... Like, all this dialogue makes me think I chose the right one. Like, denying her at first? Because that, that's characteristic for for uh, Kakaru. Like, he wouldn't have said yes to that. But we'll see. I, I could have still chose the wrong one. Who knows? 
やけくそなこと以外なら何でも聞いてやるお腹よしえ、パッソーズヘッドにジョークトゥーキッチン。Drop a slice of bread into the toaster and wait until it's toasted just the way Sora likes it. Then I grab the toast, put it on a plate, and head back to the living room. Sora looks up at me as I set the plate down in front of her, then grabs the toast and scratches it down without me putting any jam on it. I'm gonna actually be disappointed though if I don't choose the bad end, because I wanted to choose the bad end first, and then like the good end, right? I feel like it's gonna be kind of weird if I go and do the good end, and then like I choose the bad end afterwards. I mean, hopefully the bad end isn't like too long. Hopefully, it's just something I can just see real quick. I want to make sure I cover both. I want to react to both. Sniffling, she wipes away her tears and, as she chews. Wait, what? Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, okay. Just like, oh, okay. I, I thought like something she just said. I'm like, I don't think she said anything. Okay, so he's just talking about that conversation. Okay. Nodding, Sora looks down at her plate. After a few seconds, she returns to her half finished piece of toast. At first, I was worried I messed up everything when I started yelling at Sora, but in the end, I think I made the right call. Sora may not have cheered up precisely, but, but she looks like she's willing to try. Because she didn't like that he was being fake. He was just giving in to everything. That was not characteristic of him. Like, they always had this dynamic. They were always at odds with each other, even though, like, it, it was, like, friendly banter. It wasn't, like, they were actually mad or anything ever at each other. But, like, they always had this banter. And he stopped doing that. And I feel like that was, like, making it worse. It was straining it more by him trying to be more considerate of her feelings. Because that's not what he normally does as a brother. That's not what Sora pictures her brother to be like. So I feel like now that he like stood up to her and was like, hey, I'm not just gonna like allow you to, to just disappear. I'm not gonna give you what you want just so you can go and leave me, okay? That was like when Sora was like, that's my brother right there. I feel like I unironically like somehow managed to choose the right choice by choosing what I thought was the wrong one. Uh, I, I think that's what's gonna end up like saving her. Just kind of interesting. I, I like how they did that, I really did. I think that's like awesome where they make this choice where it seems like okay you choose this one and that's going to lead you to the good end and this one's going to lead you to a bad end but it's like no it's the opposite if if if, if that's how how it's going to go i mean I'll, I'll have to see i might have still chose the wrong one i don't know but if that's how if that's how it is i think that's really cool but in the end i think i made the right call so i may not have shared up precise but she looks like she's willing to try thank god a relief of uh, a feeling of relief floods through me then she toast seems to give Sora her energy back as she snatches the glass of milk. I bring her uh, and downs it in one long... Frick, what did it say? One long go. Okay. She slams the empty glass down on the table. Why is she acting so weird now? Is it because she confessed? But like we, <laughs> we kind of shut her down a little bit. She pops out on the bed and pulls the cover up so we're... She still sounds a little desperate, but at least there's life in her voice now. I think she's going to make it. Smiling, I take her plate and glass to the sink. Okay. Well, this is certainly interesting. Since I uh, already washed the dishes, I may as well do the laundry too, but I'm just going... But just as I'm going to the bathroom, remember, Sora doesn't like letting, uh, letting me touch her dirty clothes, especially her underwear. I guess the laundry will have to wait. I return to the living room to find Sora in the same position she was as I left. Her breathing is measured and even, but I get the feeling she's still awake. I plop down beside the bed and pull out my phone. Still doesn't work. I at least kept Sora from disappearing, but her powers are still out of control. I managed to prevent the worst from happening, but we're hanging by a thread. She wants a romantic relationship with me. The erosion of her stigma caused so much emotional distress that she ended up leaking her biggest secret. The wish she's kept hidden all this time. I told Sora I'd think about it, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what to do. I pretended to act calm in front of Sora, but in truth, I'm pretty shaken. What do you do when your sister says she's in love with you? Yeah, I don't blame you for not knowing what to do. For the rest of the day, Sora keeps falling asleep, waking up, then falling back asleep again in one-hour cycles. It seems using her power constantly like this is wearing her out. In retrospect, I should have realized that a while ago, but I didn't make the connection until I saw her stigma show up on her body while she slept. The main reason she broke down this morning was because she had learned her powers were starting to affect me too, but I imagine part of it was also that she's just physically exhausted. She's still holding on for now, 
She even had lunch, though all I could make was some instant ramen I had in my pantry, so it wasn't what you'd call nutritious. I don't think she'll give up on her own accord anymore. She's fighting with everything she's got. As the sun is setting, Sora finally breaks out of her cycle and gets up. Probably. She grabs one of my manga, climbs back into bed, and starts reading. But she seems to be having a hard time concentrating on it. Chances are that she, now that she's had time to calm down and think about what she said a few hours ago, she's feeling embarrassed about it. She keeps shooting me uh, what she probably thinks are covert glances from over the pages. I could just pretend I haven't noticed, but there's one thing I need to apologize to her for. Sora looks up from her manga and stares blankly at me. お前に一番負担をかけていることお前は分かっててそうしなかったんだろうがあいつのことは俺が何とかしてみせるからそうしたいけど無理なんだよねもうあ I mean, I thought... I thought Sophie said like even if she did release her powers like or whether she kept them like it wasn't gonna matter uh, I, I thought like Ghost was gonna gradually come back either way, so like there was no point in even holding on to her. So I guess Sora was just kind of going above and beyond by doing that. Like she didn't really need to. I mean, I, I wish that was the case. I mean, I wish the artifact would just leave, then we wouldn't have this problem. もっと早く気づけばよかったな。私のことが心配すぎて。忘れたわけじゃないの。何としてもソラのことは忘れないぞって。そればっかり考えてた。Sora tries to sound uninterested, but I see the corners of her lips turn up ever so slight before she turns back to her manga. Try to act natural. I have to, or I won't be able to make small talk like normal. That's when Sora starts talking to me about the feeling she's bottled up for all these years. I'm trying to remain calm, but every time I hear those words, I feel my heart get a little flutter. Oh, okay, so you're feeling them. Okay, interesting. Thank God Sora's looking at her manga and not me. She probably doesn't even have the courage to face me right now. She keeps her back turned to me and continues. I wonder how she like differentiated because I feel like when you have siblings right like of course you love your siblings and uh but how do you differentiate that between like okay I just you know I love my sibling I want to be with them and you know I enjoy spending time with them to like okay I want to um have a family with 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 my family okay how do you, how do you differentiate those and how do you go from one to the other I guess I don't want to know. The manga falls from her hands. Finally, she turns to face me. Did he? やっぱりバレてたか。いや、私のアルバム見たでしょ。いや、見てない。いや、見てんじゃん。絶対見てんじゃん。いや、あの旅行とかの写真だと思ったんだよ。あんな内容だと思ってなかったんだよ。Wait
りょっはるぱがかわいかったそうお前写真撮りまくってたからそれかなって思ったんだよ Yeah, I, I'm with Kakura on this one. I feel like that's not his fault. So, this is not a good thing. I'm not a good thing. An awkward silence descends. She's right. I've suspected for a long time that Sora was in love with me. But since she worked so hard to hide it, I thought it'd be better to pretend I hadn't noticed. I thought she wanted to protect our bond as siblings. But I never told her about finding that album. ぶいっちゃうけど。あ。あれはさ、現像できるやつなんだよね。現像できる。自分でも撮ろうかなって思って、現像してないのあるんだよね。なんか強烈な一枚があるのか。一枚じゃない。What the frick, Sora? Oh, okay, they're just photos of us asleep. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Gosh, that was such a bait. They were making it seem like something else. Wow, okay. I'm just expecting the uh, Oriemo theme to like kick in here. Can't believe my little sister is this cute. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm so glad he said it. We're all thinking it. Sora shoots up into a sitting position and glares at me. I guess it's a bit blunt, however. Kind of grossed out here. <laughs> I will say this is funny. I will say that it is funny. Already told you the worst bits anyway, so we spend the rest of the evening getting real. Aside from that one little thing, okay, fine, that one big thing, I always thought Sora was so and I were so tight that we didn't hide anything from each other. Oh boy. Uh, that wasn't true. But you know, I think it's the first time we truly laid everything bare to each other. We talked for hours late into the night. I'm sure you'll lay more things bare to each other here soon, you know? I know there's an H scene. I know there is. Don't need to hide it from me. Sora tells me all the crazy stuff she did to try to suppress her feelings for me, including writing a passionate love letter to me and then tearing it to shreds. Apparently the reason she always wanted to take baths together was that she's been holding out hope that I'd fall for her the way she did for me. Basically, she tells me a bunch of embarrassing stories, and in return, I'm honest with her as well. I to her that seeing her naked... Bruh. No. Don't say that. She yells at me and calls me a deviant, but I can tell she's kind of happy about it. <sighs> Why do y'all make me play this game? Gotten pretty late. Uh, I think I stop here, though. Okay, because I think after this, we're going to start getting into the, the little ending sequence here. And uh, I will also want to do the bad ending. I want to maybe like peep that real quick. If that's like going to be something pretty short, I want to see that. You know, I, I, I feel like the bad endings add to the story, even if like they didn't actually happen, uh, especially in this game, because they seem to be sort of relevant sometimes. So I am going to stop it here and uh I'll probably make it a longer episode if it ends up being a little bit like if I still have two hours, maybe I'll still split that up. But uh, if there's like an hour and a half or something, I'll just do a longer video because uh, I know y'all wait for these episodes like y'all are pretty patient with me. I know I'm very bad about doing this series. 
I feel like it, it's just something I have to take in shorter bursts, and I do tend to forget details with that, but I, I do like to take this game a little bit more slowly, just so I can enjoy it more. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I, I am enjoying it, but at the same time, I'm like, mm, this hasn't changed my mind about their situation. Nope. I will say it is going better than I thought it would, though. I will say, like, the way they've eased into it is a little bit better than I would have imagined. I'll give you guys that. Uh, anyways, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.